hey what's up guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how to take user input while creating a list and we will also see how to take user input while creating a list nested list okay so this question was asked by one of my subscribers so here it is so traditionally how you would uh, take user input while creating a list is uh, using for loop so first things first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a list called list one okay and after that I'll take uh, another variable called number of items and I'll take the user input so int input enter the number of items okay and after that I'll take a for loop for iteration for i in range of this variable number of items okay and I'll pass this inside a for loop and I will take another variable called num and I'll ask the user to enter the numbers so int input enter the value okay and after that I'll, uh, I'll call this list one okay and I'll call this list one and I'll append this num and after executing the for loop let us also print the list one okay so this is how you um, take the user input while creating a list using for loop so let us execute this program so it is asking me enter the number of items I want to add four items so I'll give four so this for loop will run four times so it is asking me to enter the value I'll enter one again it is asking me to enter the value I'll enter two this time I'll enter five and I'll enter six and here you can see it has appended all the entered numbers okay so this can also be done using uh, list comprehension let us see that one as well so I'll, I'll take uh, the same variable okay I'll take the same variable and I'll paste it over here and after that I'll create list 2 okay and I'll take a for loop for i in range of again I'll pass the same variable number of items and here I'll give int input okay and I'll I'll pass the message enter the value enter the value okay now let us execute this and let's see the output so it is asking me to enter the number of items I'll give 3 and I'll give 5 6 and 7 and I have forgot to print this list 2 I'll print list 2 over here list 2 and here we can see it has inputted all those numbers inside this list 2 so 5 6 7 okay so uh, this is uh, this these list 1 and list 2 are both homogeneous list if you want it to accept other values like uh, float uh, strings and complex numbers what you can do is you can do a tiny change over here instead of giving int you can give eval it will take care of all the data types so let me execute this uh, it is asking me to enter the number of items I'll give three uh, first value I'll give one second value I'll give um, string ABC and third value okay sorry um, I'll uh, execute this once again it is asking me to enter the number of items I'll give three I'll give one and we have to pass this inside a string so I'll give ABC and now I'll give float value okay so here we can see uh, this list one is now a heterogeneous list so uh, one is an integer type ABC is a string type and 1.5 is a float type okay and here also we can give instead of int we can give eval I'll execute this enter the number of items I'll give 4 uh, initial I'll give a uh, string so B C something like that and uh, I it is once again asking me to enter the value I'll give 7 and this time I'll give float value and now I'll give a complex value okay and I'll print this list too so here we can see now this list too is also now a heterogeneous list now let us 
take a look at how we can take user input while creating a nested list. It is a little bit complex when compared to uh, giving values to a, a normal list. So let us see how we can take user input for nested list. So again, once again, I'll, I'll create a empty list. I'll call it list three. Okay, initially it is going to be empty and I'll uh, once again ask the user to enter the num, uh, number of items same I'll just copy and paste this over here as well so number of items okay I'll now I'll take a for loop for I in range of this number of items variable okay now I'll create one more a list called list 4 and initially it is again going to be empty okay now I'll create another variable called size to take control of this uh, sub list okay so size int input enter the size of sub list okay now I'll take another for loop for j in range of this size I'll pass this size over here now I'll create one more variable called value or num whatever you want to call it value int input enter the value okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to append this value to this list 4 okay so list 4 dot append and I'll pass this value and after doing that after coming out of this jth for loop we have to append this list 4 to this list 3 so list 3 dot append this list 4 okay and after completing this uh, j ith for loop we will just print list 3 okay list 3 all right now let us execute this it is asking me to enter the number of items i want to add um, four sub list so I'll give four and it is asking me to enter uh, uh, asking me to enter the size of sub list I'll, I'll give three and then I'll enter one two three once again it is asking me to enter the size of sub list second sub list so I'll give two I'll give four and I'll give five and it is once again asking me to enter the size of sub list I'll give um I'll give only one and I'll give the value as nine so once again it is asking me to enter the size of sub list I'll give three enter the value one five seven and here we can see we have successfully taken the input while user input while creating the nested list okay so this is how you do it you can also do this using uh, list comprehension but you will lose the ability to take the uh, lose the ability to control the size of this nested list okay a soul for a soul right so here I'll create one more variable called uh, sorry one more list called list 5 okay I'll take for loop for I in range of I'll again copy and paste the same variable over here and I'll pass this here and also I'll uh, take this size variable pass this over here and once again I'll create a nested list inside this and also we will use list comprehension so we'll give int input enter the value enter the val for j in range of this size okay now let us execute this and let's see the output enter the number of items i'll give four so it is going to create four sub list inside list five so it is asking me to enter the size of sub list i'll give uh, three so this means all the sub list inside the parent list it is going to have only three values in it okay so one four and five 
now I'll enter once again it is asking me to enter the value for second sub list I'll give 4 7 8 9 enter the value I'll enter 5 6 7 2 8 okay and we will print this list 5 as well so print list 5 so here we can see it has created a nested list but inside this nested list uh, all these nested list have the length of 3 because we lost the ability to control the size of this nested list but if you do it this way then you have the ability to control the size of nested list okay uh, so you might ask how can we um, have the ability to control the size of uh, uh, size of nested list and also um, uh, we can also is it possible to do the list comprehension then it is possible but you have to use one for loop so I'll show you that one as well so I'll take this I'll copy this number of items variable once again paste it over here and I'll create one more um, empty list called list 6 and initially it is going to be empty take for loop for j in range of this number of items okay and I'll take one more variable called size I'll, I'll take this one I'll copy and paste this both lines over here So list for size now so in, I'll paste it paste this one below okay size so now I'll create list 7 and I'll take list comprehension for I in range of this one size size and I'll ask the user to input the value int input enter the value and after doing that we will append this list 7 to list 6 so lst6 dot append I'll append list 7 and after doing everything we will just print out list 6 print list 6 now ex I'll execute this it is asking me to enter the number of items I want to add three uh, three sub list uh, to the list six enter the size I'll give two it is asking me to enter the value one and I'll give four again it is asking me to enter the size of sub list I'll give three and one two three once again I'll give the size of sub list as two and I'll enter 7 and 8 and here we can see we have successfully created a nested list and also we have uh, the uh, sub list a different size sub list inside a parent list so this is how you can uh, reduce this lengthy code this lengthy code in this manner and you can do this also using list comprehension but you will lose the ability to control the size of this the sub list okay so that's how you take user input while creating a list and also while creating a sub list i hope you guys enjoyed this lecture and yeah that's about it i'll see you guys in the next one until next time take care